to the rain. Da na na. Mm -hmm -hmm. Call out your name, your name. And I said, okay, so the last two days, you said in the day before, I need to download those lives. Mia! Classic. Mia, I am. What a classic name. Mia and I am. Yeah, because Mia and is in I am is in Mia. Hmm. Pretty brilliant. <laughs> you didn't Mia's like, I know. Living in your ball. In your well. Wait, Lassie's in the wall. <laughs> was Lassie stuck in the well? Wait, little Timmy's stuck in the well. Yeah, was that Lassie? Little Timmy stuck in the wall. Mark, no, the well. Oh. That's not a good thing. No, no, no. Oh, the whale. Lassie can't spell. Tracy! Oh, the whale's stuck in the well. <laughs> what? Lassie's stuck in the whale, stuck in the well, stuck in the wall. Sup, narcoleptic gardener, top of this finest morning to you. I want to greet you with an, an original greeting. So, the top of this, I know, I need to, I'm a, always say, I always say the top of the morning or good morning and then I go, hope you're doing good. I want to say that. I want to create a new pathway. So I'm going to say, hmm, uh, may all your, I don't know, just hi, hi, how you doing? Juan, top of this fine day to you. Sup, Charlie? And a good day to you. Bashar. Then if I could get all the tea, all the cat, there's everyone's catchphrases and say them all. And a good day to you. Just jump on in there. Jean-Claude! Sup? I'm grateful for the acknowledgement when I show up. Awesome. Yeah. But not connected like gardener. Your name is so classic. Like humanity, you know, we're all trying to garden to get back into the Garden of Eden, but we're all like falling asleep spiritually, you know. Um, Crystal, top of this fine day to you. Good morning, Crystal. Uh, what's up, Daniel? Daniel Santa. Dun, 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 dun. Hello, Crystal. Good morning. What's up, Henrik? And then Crystal. There's an interesting parallel between yourself and fireworks. When when I was looking into his, just his in his thing, his you know his energy, his energy record basically, and I was just nudged to look at yours, and you both got that thing, you know that thing, where you're gonna get validated later. You're both sitting in in states where you have to be. It's tough. It's hard. I hate. I hate to see a person in that situation because I handle it terribly. You know that thing. That thing where you're not where you're, the full picture and you and you don't get to be the, DVC. Good morning to you, where you you know the full picture isn't there and you you don't look you're not see, being seen in the full light and you're not getting the benefit of the doubt. He's in the exact same situation. And you've actually both got active characters that work against you. But we don't it's not the real you. Remember, that's that's the three D you. The real you is that also connected to that other aspect. And it's it's for the full spectrum validation. So later, when the penny drops for the kids, and the penny will drop, then there'll be a lot extra they'll give you extra that they would never have given you if they hadn't done that in the first place. Plus themselves, plus their world will get extra scrutinized. And then, and then it'll just be a gratitude thing where nothing they've ever experienced, nobody they've experienced, they won't be grateful for. It'll be a gratitude thing. They'll, they'll, they'll end up perpetually basically blessing your character, which was what it'll turn into. It'll be you, you're not your traditional right and wrong, but the topography of who you are. Is going to be perfect to them, and it's going to be when they when they when they see the unity in all personality. At the moment, they don't see it just yet. They they think different people, different pa dramas, paradigms. That's going to within them. That's going to they're going to like it's the next like it's, unfortunately it's still some time, but they're going to be holistic in their understanding of things, and so it won't be in a. Give everything benefit of the doubt. They'll, they'll see the full spectrum of things. So, you, so, so with yourself, 
I'm more so with Thyrus, and I say this to him when he gets here again. Carry on as if you're whole, you, you're being watched the whole time by them. So you are being validated, but by their higher selves, not by the ones that you see in front of you. The ones you see in front of you are part of the are part of a, a, the great drama. Hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah. In 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 those terms, yes. In yeah, but also totally, but not half. No, not half you. That's in illusionary terms. The spirit that manifested the dream, that manifested the body that you think you are, also manifested the body that, that he was and they are. So to say half view is talking in, illus in illusionary terms. But it's fine, you can do that. You always do that, and then you go, uh, uh, was I? Or was I? But, you know, what, what, you ride the thing full circle. So by the time we finished talking, you weren't really, you were just holding the... the but, funny, but, but that knowing is where they will fully know themselves in the fact that they are you and that in the fullness of time the, the I can tell you straight your mom and in DVC in DC, it, your mom is the character and in Fireworks case it's his wife ex-wife or ex-partner whatever um the the they the to the to the most part the they get given the benefit of the doubt when it comes to paradigm spinning of who's the back and forth, of who's who's good and bad and everything. So they get given the given the benefit of the doubt, but their own relationship with those, that person is going to mimic that, and then they're going to go. If you do this with me, it, it won't take long before a paradigm will rock up, where the child, one of the children, is replaced with your traditional character, and then your mom will apply a certain uh, reason, and they'll go, "Hey, wait a minute." Do you do this to mom? That's where it unbreaks up. And then it's not even about you at that point. It's not even about them, you getting validated. It's about them seeing this place ho holistically. You won't, you, won't, you won't even necessarily get that where they, they come and say, mom, it'll be in their heart of hearts. They'll pray to their God, they'll connect to you and they'll be like grateful. So you might not even, you might even be in, a, in, a, in, a, in an ascended capacity by the time that starts taking place. Selflessness, Crystal, selflessness. Like, to know they're going to be perfect, but you don't have to get, you know, the, the lepers are going to be healed, but they don't have to come back and thank you. Like the chicken that covers the baby chickens during the fire. <laughs> At the end of the fire, and chicken roast chicken, but the babies are safe. Yeah, it's just, it's just the ego now doesn't get validated. But the, the, your true soul gets, gets you know. A shame, Crystal. I know, shame. I know it is. I know it is. It's, it's, it's all virtual for me. I spent my whole time decoupling, you know, making jokes to defuse and unknot myself from the entanglement of the habit of feeling connected to the other meat puppets. It's a fine thing. And then, to, and then to, to sit on the cusp of forgetting so you don't forget and then to remind them that they've forgotten and they're making, they're making, they're making illusionary connections ultimately. If they're connected on the inside, they would transcend those two connections. I don't know how to say anything any better, basically. And it's very cult-esque. Good morning, Amy! Hectic. It's it's first. It's the hardest thing. It's the hardest thing to stand. Basically, what it comes down to, if you're going to be melodramatic about it, it comes down to being falsely, 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 you know, falsely represented. And I'm sorry to say this now. Yes, I can't help it. I'm I'm more on the side of ultimate truth. So as I go, as I want to identify with you and go, you know, falsely represented. And then I'm like, your higher self's like, what about Crystal's true nature? She's being, where's God in this whole conversation? She's being whispered, but this isn't even hers. This is an illusion dream where the characters are created just to help you disconnect from the fucking Maya. 
How about your true nature is being misrepresented? You don't fuck about the, the micro macro, you know, little drama that you're projecting so you can wake up from your cosmic nightmare called, you know, relativity. <laughs> I'm sorry, Crystal. Uh, it must be hard being estranged from the illusionary world. I can't. I can't even pretend <laughs> to have come with sympathy. It's ultimately, it'll be sympathy for the devil. It'll be for your lower nature that isn't real. I'd be talking shit to you, basically. Sorry, I tried. And then I saw the game, I was like, so fucking, how about me? <laughs> you can identify with, with illusion when you could be, you know, transcending all of this back and forth death birth cycle, forget who we are when we're in a sea of self, trying to get validation from fucking phantoms. <laughs> I mean, sorry. <laughs> we would have gone there. If we can't continue talking, we would have eventually, two more sentences, two more paradigms, and then you would have brought in that version of it and then I would have gone through it like this you know and then I would go you know oh right so I thought I'd just skip it you know jump take the higher self push all the pieces all you know it's all for recall it's all for that I'm a monster <laughs> it's like I'm a monster you're a beast because then the guides will be also they tease me and they'll be like it's real to them it's real to them where do the space rockets go? <laughs> I'm thinking about Elon's space rockets. Do they go into space? Hmm. Like how how much of a of a of a fake taint is reality? I don't know. Da -na -na -na. Karina. So in the full in the full in the full scheme of things, in the full spectrum of things, you will be validated. I can just tell you that. On an ego-based level, where the kids get it and they go, okay, cool. Everybody likes to project and be the victim, and we all and we all have that quality in us to some degree, you know. We all have that quality. The the it hurt me slightly more than when I did it than when I did it to you, basically. And on all on all subtle sentiments, and we're all so sensitive to the criticism and being accepted and really. Wait, 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 wait. Can some of these paradigms swapped around? So you is it your granddaughter from one of your children that you're not getting to see as well? I don't know you guys getting to see grandkids. I'm picturing two kids. Am I mixing paradigms up? Or my jumping power oh my jumping Mandela universes and the details are changing so much. Was that also? I think grandkids as well. Because I know Fireworks' his son, one of his sons has seen his videos. Your twin daughter has a child. Wow. 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 Yeah, here's that moment with you. Where, where we have conversations and then it gets to that, the, this side of the moon cusp where I get to see what you're carrying, basically. And then it's more, you get more validation for, for carrying it than being involved in it. You know what I mean? Your, your paradigm isn't your paradigm. <laughs> and you clearly can see that. It's the paradigm. You know, twins, uh, next generational, a uh, 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 mirror, Whatever doesn't get, get concluded, gets carried on. It happens with you within your own moment, and let alone within generations or any patterns. Sure. It's as hard as it is to everybody, basically. You always, yeah, you always come full circle to do that. So it's as hard and as easy as it is hard as it is. It's easy, you can have your, your cool days and your thingy days. I wonder if she's seen... Do you, wait, wait, your content. It's always interesting to see, if you, because when you think about people, they think about you. It's the sort of thing that it is. So when you've been thinking about them, I wonder if they've ever like investigated your TikTok, that kind of thing. So I know one of, one of Spyworks' sons, as in I was told by his higher self. And a lot of times you can put on an example of how to be, and you can be that way for a while. Before people come around and be like, you know, you took the higher ground, basically. 
again, it's one of those hard things in life to get validated when no one's around. But you're selfless, right, Crystal? You're a selfless, uh, you know, God at the end of the day. Just here to love. Mm-hmm. Nikki! Ooh. Completely accept the catch. I'm a cat anyway. That's even better. Did you still want to leave after the love? Um, another, I've got another one after this one. Um, we can do tomorrow if you want. Um, or after, after, after. I don't know if it'll be too late for you though. Yeah, let's yeah, do tomorrow if you don't mind. Or even Saturday. But when I say tomorrow, wait, wait, today's Friday. So when I say tomorrow, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, if, I say, if I say tomorrow, it means your Friday. Mm. Or today. It's not today. So I'll, I'll be doing it directly after another one. Uh, not have uh, gotten it. We're sitting there now. We're all sitting in that. We actually just need to hold for a bit. Um, things are shifting so quickly right now. Picture, picture like we're in the first class of people and everything we talk about and learn gets put onto paper and handed out. And then the next day, and so it's distributing. You can imagine a whole I can't explain, a planet of people who get this. That's all basically a new way of seeing stuff as energy, that whole thing and magic. And there's some advanced being students who are, you know, the place, the actual... The impersonal vibe, the, with that, this realm is, it's upgrading, uh, and, and all that dynamic magic is triggering, and it's, there isn't a direction right now. There's a, sit in your peace, sit in your peace, smile, chill, uh, no thoughts, and then the next wave of experience. It'll just be clear. I can't explain it. Do nothing. Don't, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to be anything, do anything. Be at peace. Be in the presence. Just be present. I can't explain it. This is the best thing to do. There's no, do this now, remember to ground. It's not about that right now. <coughs> is exactly. Doing nothing is doing something. Exactly. It's, it is, there's, there's phases. There's phases in energetic whatever where there's like a, not incubation, uh, Stabilization, uh, if something takes to something, if something is in the presence of something long enough so that it's comfortable in that presence, like we're in a new place energetically, new access to new awarenesses, uh, familiar, familiarity phase, I don't know. Ah, when? Like Sunday, your Monday morning. You can definitely want to, do you want to do, lock that in for now. I definitely did that day. Monday morning was great. Exactly what I've been feeling. You guys have all, I know it sounds stupid, but you guys, I can read energy. And you guys are all like master. You guys are, I can't say students, but you guys, you know, if I had any effect on you, which I know it isn't that ultimately, that would be seven dimension and below. It'd be silly to see it that way. But in my presence, and it's, it's, it's basically what you've seen in me, I can now, oh, I don't know how to even say that, that even sounds stupid, that's eight dimension, even that, um, your energies are so much clearer, cleaner, you, you, it's, a, it's like a confidence in abilities you already have, I can't even say it. It's each one of you when you speak, and what you get intuitively is, it's brilliant basically. And I've seen a relative improvement, but that sound, that's ego judgment on myself, ultimately. It's been compounding of hyper energy like Godzilla power. It, it really is that, Dr. Electric. Okay, so brilliant, brilliant. No, I'm actually going to Monday, we can do early, we can do the, this. So 52 minutes ago, I'll, I'll not do a live on Monday. I'll just keep Mondays aside for our lives or for our one-on-ones kind of thing. So yeah, we did it last Monday, didn't we? We did it at the same time. A week ago. And it's also slightly, and it's slightly earlier for you as well. Don't want to get too late. 
Gabby, thank you for the donut. Gabby's one time, my friend's ex-girlfriend's little brother, he was just running around the house going, Jesus, it's like a donut. And then he just, then he laugh and run out the room. And then he ran back in the room and he goes, Jesus, it's like a, a window. <laughs> and run out the room and run back in. Jesus, it's like a, uh, a, a light. And then run out. I'm just laughing his ass off the whole time. I can't think of a donut, I can't think of that. Because actually the first thing he said, I was like, well, that's deep, man. A donut's three, three circles in a way. It's a circle in a circle, but it's also a circle. <laughs> and it's a circle. Whoa. You're right, Jesus is like a donut. But then I was going into like some kind of galactical measurements and my brain just went, you know. It's only half the picture, I think. The holographic illusion called Maya and all its manifestations. Uh, weird. Really weird lately. First day in nearly six months. I didn't, couldn't. Oh, really? The world that you have been meditating. It's terrible how little meditation I've been doing. It's like saying, like, hey, listen, we can upgrade your car, get you new wheels, da da da. I'm like, that's fine. Like, all you have to do is give us the keys to the garage, which is just sitting there meditating, not doing much, doing nothing. And you upgrade. And yet, no, it's fine. Fuck off, get out of my house. <laughs> I don't want my car fixed. And that's, that's the reversal of what I saying to Crystal when I'm saying, we are saying, we think about how we misrepresented to other people with misunderstandings and karma. And our true nature is so misrepresented to our, ourselves. It's like a divine gift, kicking a divine gift horse in the mouth. I want to take it out for a spin. I want to go fast. To you, smart. Look after your. You look after your shit. Da na 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 na. Uh, cleaning is a pop. It no, really is. No, Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Your house, your home, holographically is the universe. Literally, what you do to it, you do it. What you do to the least of you, me, you do to the greatest of me. So literally, your kitchen. You could look at your kitchen like it's the everything in, in eternity, and its relative enhancement that you create has a knock-on effect. It's literally ashram divinely connected. Sympathetic resonance. It's huge. If you can be mindful during cleaning and have that attitude, and then the things that naturally occur to you, Gabby, you gonna. I can, do you want me to? Ta I can tap in. Your 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 higher self's going. Here we go. Like literally having a, a segment of your thoughts when you are clean. You basically, it'll occur to you. You'll go. I noticed that my gran had that habit. Now and then you you actually, you actually. <laughs> You meld into the higher dimensions and daydream while you clean, and you're actually pulling on certain energies and, and what you're doing physically, you're doing to those where well, those thoughts. Mindful movement is exactly what you do. It's exactly what you do. You, it's it's Gabby. If I put it to music and I made your and I made your thoughts slightly louder, it's a form of martial arts. Where martial arts isn't a defense system, it's actually a self healing, balancing, psychological relating to reality art. Your cleaning is an art form. All of ours is, but yours is better. Because you, you're cognitizing. You're finishing the loop. I don't know why that makes me happy. I don't know why. Gabby saying that and getting that. And also, because I've been daydreaming about that. I've been cleaning. You know? Cleanliness is next to godliness, but I hate that saying. Because I'm, I'm your only messy. And it's not in the Bible. <laughs> and, you know, Christian's always like, God, is he, Christ, clean is next to God, I'm like, no, oh, the Bible. Like, I know, but it's still true. There's karmic laws here at work. Because it is true, there's karmic laws. Like, cleanliness and, you know, bathing before you go into the ashram. Uh, you carry karma. Water, you know, has many properties. Who cares about the Bible? I know, it's just one for a book, you know. I know. No. That was the that used to be a source of some kind of authority, just like if you scratch your name on a pencil and tell my mom gave it to me, my name's on it. It's as it's as lame actually. But yes, there is a psychological kickback if your world is you know clean and reflects better. Yeah, laziness. You can only justify laziness so much. What's the point of making my bed? I'm just going to have to mess it up again later. 
It's all about that. It's, it's the psychological application, the knock, the, the kickback effect. Oh, I thought it was about having a clean room. No, no, no. Everything you do affects everything you do. If you chew your food three times more, you will literally perceive cognitively three times better. Try it. Next meal you have, chew three times more. You will end up literally processing consciousness better. If you treat everything like a spiritual ritual, always have your mind on God. No, it is that, but it's, I'd say always have your mind on the nature of reality. Otherwise you end up pretending, I don't know. I suppose whatever. I'm going to say you can you, you go a bit... It's not a, it's not a, it's not a practical functionality to be, you know, manic for God, technically. Everything is God. Everything about God. For God. Yeah. You, know, you know, but then at the same time, it is what it actually is. You're either crazy for Maya and illusion and sensory pleasures nonstop, or you're mad for the nature of reality. It's, it's choice. But it really is. Okay, it, it really, if you can see it, if you get to see it in its whole, in its wholeness. What did you just say? I said in its completion, in its holistic nature, in its wholeness. <laughs> yeah, it's beautiful. I can see heaven, life, death, and birth. <laughs> what are you doing now? <laughs> Looking directly into the third eye. What's up the third eye? Oh, sorry. What's the first rule? Party. Is it? P-A-R-T. Why? See, I think I'm an idiot born into a, into a 4D world where those world's metaphors, the names of things seem like unity consciousness, time, space, balance, and I'm the only idiot in this world. Like, if everyone said to me, no, humans know that a party is where you're in a world, in, at a venue, it's all you, it's your own mind, and you, maybe you look, it's all you, and everything is connected. Like, you know, very num num, it's party time. In other words... It's party time when you take the mask off and you realize it's all you. There's a level of humanity that is cognitive there and a fifth dimension. And I'm, I'm starting to realize we're actually not 3D beings evolving. We're actually a whole planet of all of the above. And you wouldn't know the difference if Tom Cruise was a 7D being or a 9D Andromedan. You wouldn't know. It all integrates with itself. You're alone. You're alone and you projected the whole thing. Like, oh, I'll scatter a, a, a seven 4D beings, a 9D being there, a musician who's an 8th being singing those songs, and you won't realize that you've actually got a, a silk network of higher and multidimensional a tapestry of art around you. Like Taylor Swift. No, not Taylor Swift. <laughs> yeah, exactly. In other words, the place Taylor's, a swift, a swift reflection. It's quite from Peanut Butter Falcon. What is the Peanut Butter Falcon? It sounds like a like a Charlie Brown like movie, one of the epic Charlie Brown movies. I uh, know it isn't a thing. I just I, I don't know. I just don't know what the Peanut Butter uh, Falcon is. Yeah. Well, I th when you said what, I thought you thought I was saying it was a Charlie Brown movie. I'm working on coming up with a theme for a party for 20 people. I need to be, I need it to be extraordinary. Don't be boring. Don't take, don't do AI or holographic. Can't you have holographic AI as a theme? Can you have a lot of that, um, you know, you get that like raffia paper, but it's like, you know, holographic. It's got like all different colors in it. Oh, right. Apparently, it's a movie about a guy with Down syndrome who goes on a wrestling trip. I love those kinds of movies. It, it sounds like Gentleman Broncos. I love those movies. Are those movies, you, tell me you can't make a movie on a million dollars. Make a movie on a million dollars. You know, it's, it basically comes down to the camera and the editing. And then you go back to actors and, and then the scripts. Are, Man... Telling you now, you can pop out a lot of good indie movies for cheap, cheap, and they'll be great. Like, remember, um, it's, this is different, but De De Delicatessence, Amelie, Amelia, is it Amelia or Am 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 Amelie? There's a bunch of those, like, French Nouveau movies. They just tell you a better story and leave you feeling optimistic about the 
and they leave you wiser. They tell a story that makes you see the wholeness of life, like the beauty in life. But then again, I could just be an idiot, and that maybe a lot of people see that in every movie. I could just be spiritually derp. Like, what kind of remedial work would you need to, to you know, teach an idiot God? And because I'm an idiot and I needed to be taught so much, and I had to integrate so much, that's why terms like holograms and singularities are quick terms for me to say lots that I grasp because I've gone and studied the fabric and we had to rebuild it from scratch right up kind of thing. But it doesn't mean I was smart. I'm stupid. Like, I can't know, a combination of stupid and lazy so that I ended up getting smarter at figuring out in a lot. So like when Bill Gates says, you always get a lazy person to do something. Like, God, figure out reality, but you're dumb, but you're lazy. It, 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 it almost has like a counterintuitive effect. You end up becoming an expert, but like a really slow, stupid, hard way. And it's very really clever as well for a being to go through that if it was God, because then it would have all knowledge while not being full of itself. It'd be like, remember where I came from? It's like, no, you didn't. That was the illusionary part of you looked on it, went on a journey of remembering God. Yeah, but I was dumb, eh? Before I got started. It's like, yeah, you were dumb. <laughs> you were here. Like, if I look at myself and I go, yeah, oh, God, dude, you spent your whole life talking to yourself in the form of people. You know what I mean? Once you grasp that, no matter how smart you get talking to God in the form of other people, which is what will happen once you grasp that, you were always in a dream once upon a time talking shit to yourself. Remember the time you got upset with yourself? And then the, then the, then the echo got upset with you for getting upset with it. And then it, ah, ah, I, don't, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. <laughs> alone. Ultimately, you're going to see it was alone. Your best moments and your worst moments ultimately was alone. It's hilarious. No, it isn't. I murdered my whole family. Oops, I'm sorry. It's not funny. It is. No, in the big scheme of things, it's not funny. But in, it is funny in the big scheme of things. No, it's not. God. I have compassion for the sentient beings. It's real there and then. No, but in the big scheme of things, it's hilarious. What are you saying? I'm saying in the big scheme of things, Donald Trump shot at himself. Oh, did you say that? I said that out loud. I just said that out loud. In the big scheme of things, in the absolute giant scheme of things, Jesus nailed himself to a piece of wood for nothing. Not for nothing, he had an agenda of some kind, I think. Anyway, it's irony at its finest, it really is. And good morning, wake up and twinkle. Hello there. It's hilarious. It is, it is, but it's a fact that it's hilarious. And if you ask God, it's hilarious. You know why? Because the whole universe, this, yeah, now, this, it looks like a table, but it's actually, um, I not like that sound. It's foster. So much foster. You can't hear it, but you can see it. The whole universe is made out of um at different speeds. And that's God laughing. It's laugh, literally laughter. It's when the ultimate ascension takes place. It, it acknowledges the creation and it into its being and laughs itself back into oblivion. Then goes to another universe, and they can travel between them. And then you can you, then you once you've broken the death birth cycle, you're free to come back and go. You're free to basically roam the realms as as you choose fit. I hate stubbing my toe on oh man, so funny. That's so good. Um, um. that's brilliant. It's true. Um, basically, um kicked um. Your toe's also um. Just a different one. It's so funny, actually, to watch oneself, if once you become cognitive, to watch oneself basically swimming, because you're ebbing and flowing when it comes to the topics, and you're actually jumping sides. Like, you know, you watch the Donald Trump story, and it's like, hectic. And then it's like, you know, just the, the like, hey, this person, like, like, Tenacious D, uh, Kyle Gass, that comment was quite hectic. But then... And then, and then more information comes in, and then more and more, and eventually it's like, but how do I actually feel about this? In other words, Shane, you don't say that. And it's like, no, nobody owes anybody any sentiment. 
if one person wants to believe this world is a dream and they can laugh at it and it means nothing, that's their thing. Another person can go, no, no, this world is real. You better believe what I believe and care what I care about. Don't you be insensitive. At my par level of sensitivity, you just all meet me there. Yeah, but everyone's a hypocrite. <laughs> we, we, to exist is to be a hypocrite. To talk is to imply the opposite. To have an opinion is to, relative to relative, be a hypocrite in a thousand other metaphorical situations where you don't give a shit. So it's just fascinating watching the planet tone its, tone its red, rhetoric down. It's, yeah, yeah, but he did this. Yeah, but you shouldn't have done this. You shouldn't talk like this. Yeah, but you did this. Yeah, well, let's cancel this. Yeah, but you don't cancel. We don't cancel. You don't cancel. Well, cancel is not right. Yeah, but we don't do what you do. Yeah, but do what you did when Nancy Pelosi's husband was attacked. Yeah, but you did it when she was, she was, she was shot. Yeah, but did it. And it's just, it's the same being going, oh, I, I know I am, but what am I? Oh, God. It's all, oh. It's so cool. Eventually, he went, he's going to shut up for three days and just sit there. Look what you did. Look what you did. <laughs> it's like, so they're going, okay. Because we're going to have to lift it up from now on and build each other up. Basically. It's the only way we stop being a collective hypocrite. Because I can't talk to it without criticizing it, without criticizing self. And nobody can. So therefore, it's like, apply, apply your perfection and divinity or shut the fuck up. Eventually, no human can talk because no one will listen to anything that isn't applying its divinity. Before it gets started, you'll feel the impact and decide whether or not you participate in that vibration. Humanities are going to give demons the silent treatment ultimately. How do you explain? How do you explain pleasure at d different levels? I don't know if it's I don't know sensory pleasure, bliss, happiness. I'm not sure. Psychological pleasure. <laughs> Love you so much. <laughs> Love you. See us now. See you now. Um, are you, oh wait, Crystal's like, God, you're psychic. Tell me what I said. <laughs> it's a delusion. Two, two, two arm vibrations. Both projected by the mind of God. I'm not this. This guy sitting here. I'm not that guy. I'm not that. It's just my assembly point. I'm everything and I know it. I know how it all works and I know how I'm pretty. <laughs> No, God, identify with your avatar. My avatar is all of manifested world universes in all time and space that ever was. Mm. I give the universe an, an, an animated... Anim I animate the universe, it doesn't animate me. <laughs> and you see, the, the, the difference in seeing it that way is the difference. No, no, I, I, I'm animated by the universe. Oh, so you're animating an animated universe that animates you. It's, it's a shift in perception. The, the, the truth that if you can still yourself and realize that what you hold true is true. And it's because there's an ultimate truth that if you align with it, cool. And if you don't, you're going to have to have a unique belief. That unique belief will make you blind to the ultimate truth to some degree and therefore make that belief true. So it's about ultimate alignment with ultimate self and ultimate truth. And if, in whatever degree you're not that, you'll create a pocket universe that'll illustrate your blind spot. I call that homeschooling. I'm very proud of it. I have to check my life. Like, I'm basically lazy God. I'm like, okay, God, this is the process. This is how people work. Da, da, da. If I'm in charge and this is how it's designed. No, 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 no. Can't I give myself a free ride? Can't I just hand the rest of the sentient beings the same awareness that I have? And then I know the universe goes, ah, you freaking brilliant. I've taken the very thing it's doing and I've sped it all up. And then I've embodied it. And then I've reincarnated re every 500 years. I'm talking from my avatar level, my Rishi master level. I've had many other incarnations in between all of that, but where I affect humanity's destiny. Krishna, all of your masters, the same being, it's pulling on the same light. So if you identify with them, you can, re you can get back your mastered lifetimes. If you don't, it doesn't matter. It's a cloud over there. It's not an extension of your nature. In the same way that your world is an extension of you, all beings that have ever come and gone are extensions of your great nature. Sin, sin. 
to forget your God, to forget your divinity. It's the only thing that's preventing you from literally... It's the only thing. Sin meaning, oh, I'm not God. I don't remember that. Or I'm not allowed to be that. Or blasphemy. Or what about that person over there? In other words, you still got colouring in to do. Like there's a, a giant multidimensional tapestry. And once you've coloured it in, you've learned all things. And it's possible to learn all things because like the same way that I've compounded the lessons and brought them back with me, reality does that in its metaphors. There's a reason why trees are so successful. And it's not just because they provide nature with what they do with nature. They'll have other spiritual... Everything that lasts has a sense of truth. Uh, God, do you have air conditioning? Sorry, Mr. No, brilliant. So... So I, I, you know, when I was younger, I had a heart murmur. It's gone now. Awesome. See you now, wake. What's up, Chris? Good morning. Top of the finest day to you. April. That is so good. I thought of April yesterday. April Summers is is here or was here. Yesterday I said April O'Neil. I was thinking about the Ninja Turtles, and I thought about April Summers. Colorado Chick, thank you so very much for likes. They're they're taking Biden fishing soon. What are you on about? Man, I would rather just enjoy this world of entertainment value because nothing, none of the variables actually reach your shore, if you think about it, other than psychologically. I'd rather laugh. Take take everyone's side, nobody's side, and just laugh at whatever's happening. Hectic, not collection. I'm going to keep that in mind. I think you might, you, there, there might be some other variable. Not with me, but I, but I know what I'm saying in my world to do with hearts and stuff. Like if a family member has a heart attack, I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm, interesting. <laughs> I'm just thinking, none of this is real. It's so funny. I'm just thinking about um, <clears throat> my life, this this one. The major theme of the my biological mom. The theme of living with her for like the last four, four and a half, whatever. Being taken away from her. But not about me and her. The theme of angsting for something. For wanting something. For for wanting to be somewhere, for wanting things to be a certain way. And I'm talking, now just take that and separate it. To, to oh, if only my, my, my land was returned to my people, if, if only my government wouldn't tax me, if only that person would love me, if I could just get this like that, if I could finally get qualification, I could get the job. That concept abstractly is the source of all suffering. The want, desire. And I'm, talk, and I'm talking in any capacity. It, it is literally the source of suffering. When to want is to identify with the illusion. And then how lucky I was to have had such a strong dose of it growing up. So that I'm so familiar with that feeling and where it comes from and how it works and how it sets itself up. But it has to first, it has to be an idea. What's the idea? The idea is that's my mother. Is it? Is she really? Am I really me? You know, I, yeah, I have to, that has to underpin first before I can have any of those feelings. Now it's like, no, no, I am God dreaming me and her and everything else. Oh, it means I'm omnipresent. It means there's no way things should be, then I will be happy. Knowing I am all is the bliss. The rest is irrelevant. It's sideshow bullshit. Lucky me, eh? Huh? So now I'm sitting here after a whole life of it where it wasn't that easy. No way. He's crying himself to sleep every night from the age of like four and a half to like six and a half. Literally, he cries out to sleep. Wake up every morning with your face stuck to your pillow because you're crying because you miss your mother. Because she was, my mom was so nice to me.
like so uh, nice and all, too nice, like spoiled me. My point being, it's not about me. Forget me. That's karma. Like I'm not a real being. I'm an energy. So, but energetically, how lucky to have such high doses. I mean, you know, come on, a kid's gonna miss their mother. Stupid little Maya, stupid kid falling for Maya. It's a, it's a very strong version of it, if you know what I'm saying. Like, what are you talking about? Of course the kid's going to love his... Nah, he's going to learn to transcend this whole place. You know what I'm saying? So by the time I'm seven, eight, I realize I'm better off transmuting the illusion through a joke than I am identifying with my separation from myself. Because <clears throat> a joke is actually the psychology that you're not actually separate from anything said backwards. That it's all the bullshit is what the joke's about. And it, the metaphor of any joke that you make out of a situation that it disidentifies and basically breaks that connection. So you laugh. Laughter is transcendence. So then I would have holographically, energetically work with this world through whatever arrived at my experience. Trump mania is going crazy, eh? Trump mania. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. But it's also crystal. It's going to lose its momentum on some fronts. And I don't know how to explain this. I don't, well, I do. I just don't want to. Um, the way things are shifting. I, like now, like I know that was a bullet. Remember? We know it was, not now. I, I don't know. How, I don't want to explain it because I don't care. But this world is energy. And... We are, we are we are traveling at a right angle through versions of it and how, what took place. The medical report now for, for my energy reading it right now, something flew. It was a plastic something. The bullet hit something and it that was plastic that hit him. It wasn't the bullet. So now it's like, who you know what I'm saying? If okay, if I'm right, and Mandela micro Mandela effects are taking place. How is any human going to fucking listen to any other human ever again? I'm going to get, I'm going to go on the internet. I'm going to see a thousand AI things. I'm going to see a thousand people tell a thousand bullshit spins of their version of what they want it to be. Then you've got actual reality shifting out. <laughs> so it's people that aren't, don't need to lie. The actual thing won't make sense. And it's going to happen more. And the more we investigate individually, the more the things are going to wobble and your own answers that you convinced of are going to change. Humans are basically a combination of being made more confident and having the rug pulled out from under their feet at the same time. So it's a combination of, you don't know what's going on anymore. And that's a good thing because then you can explore, investigate, go inward, get to know the self and realize that anything happening outside of ourselves collectively is an illusion. If all of humanity used its ignorance to vote on what they believe, they would project this bullshit called what we're dealing with right now. And if, what if tomorrow they could all re-vote based on their new beliefs, based on the new data? You would immaculately generate a brand new universe where all the details were changed. And then humans are going to go, no, you said it was like this, it's like this. Yeah, no, it was like that. No, I can't change, you're lying. Humanity is being decentralized. All the gangs, the, the thought gangs are being separated. The humans are a bunch of gangs, thought gangs. How many people go, oh, I agree. Because the mob agrees, but you couldn't explain the theory to yourself if you said, listen, this group that you belong to, explain the mythology behind it. How many people belong to things that they couldn't explain the mythology behind? So you break them up, you make them lose their confidence because they don't have groups to sit next to. And then, 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 then if you explore the self, get disheartened, blah, blah, blah. So, so 25, you know, 25, that's going to undermine Trump hardcore and obviously the situation is good for him he's going to get up to lots um the Kennedy video is viraling right now it hasn't even picked up full steam which is just breaking up the syndicate of 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 um you know pro-vax he wants Kennedy in, in the health department potentially which means Kennedy can go after the vax and pharma um but but Trump's being squeezed psychologically because He's playing two fronts now that he can't play, which is to do with Israel. Jared Kushner is 100% Israel, wipe Gaza out, real estate. So Trump, under no circumstances, is going to get into power. It's Kennedy. And it's three and a half months to go. And it's, and it's just a matter of the 25 story. 
just that it's gonna it's gonna go prolific right now. But I think the FBI is gonna yeah they are. FBI is gonna investigate it and then start to think it and basically tell everyone, make it even louder, make it even more obvious what Republicans are gonna do. And that'll undermine him enough that everyone will go, ah oh, fuck. And then Biden's dropped he's sick now, he'll drop out. Kamala will step in, Kamala, everyone's gonna go, no, fuck Kamala. And it might be there's a ten percent chance the Democrats go, Kennedy, come join us. Although he'll take over the Democrats. He'll take over. He won't join them. He'll take over them. Either way, it's going to be thingy and not Trump. And because Trump means Jared. Jared means Gaza. So the answer is no. If I was playing a game of 90 chess alone and my beliefs unfold. Kennedy all the way, watch. And it's amazing how much they like, have no opinion and go and investigate this topic. But like... I have no opinion. I don't care. Now go look. Go look at the top. Go like pretend you got you landed on your spaceship. You landed here right now on Earth. And now you know you got this. You got the you know, you know what you know. Now go and investigate and see what's up. It's so fascinating to look at, not just um who's for and against something. How do people feel about? how everyone is for and against stuff. You read all commentary and you get like census things on who's upvoted and that kind of thing. And you go to you know, other platforms and get a feel for everyone. Without, to, without identifying with anyone. By doing that, you protect butterfly effect you can leverage an entire system if you know what i'm saying from a ninth dimensional point of view you can leverage this whole place and i do believe there's different versions as an individual soul you can travel wherever you want whatever you hold true and i'm literally talking to myself only right now Okay, see, this is so much fun. I love you, Mary, because um, I love the entertainment. The integrated entertainment, where, yeah, the integrated entertainment. The fact that it's it's physical, spiritual, mental, it's it's social, it's social, it's internal, it's universal. It's any kind of, any fiction complements it. Uh, the unfolding of how, how all of that is is feeding into all of that. You know what I'm trying to say? The singularity, basically. And then it's all becoming a clear reflection of my relationship with it or myself. It makes you want to go quiet and thank God. Like, it makes you want to go like, wow, what a wonderful gift. Because that's God's gift to itself. A multidimensional God complex. Literally, a God complex. Where it's it's got pocket universals, fractal realities, everything, macro micro, all the basic hermetic laws will perme will permeate a being, which is also a realm, realm inclusive. The being will be singular, the realm will be holographic. And there'll be a macro micro in the big is the small, and the small is the big, and it's infinite. And it's imbalanced and it's divine and it's your you. Or Brahm at a level. <laughs> a part of my, my higher self, God, where it was like, it's not complete, but you can have it. I'm like, thanks, I'll work it. I'll work it from here, thanks. It's pretty good, actually. It's kind of perfect. I don't know, it's perfect. I was just testing you. Thanks, Lord. I know it's perfect in every way, just as you are. If thine eyes be one... If thine eyes be one, what turns the light or something? Da, 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 da. Country bumpkin, good morning. Okay, so nothing but uh, Michelle Obama, Tucker, Imagine Biden, Trump, Trump, Kim, MAGA, Tel Aviv. Okay, Tel Aviv. Listen to Trump. Oh my God. It's just a, <laughs> it's like a tug of war. And the more they're like, you know, People who don't like Trump, they're like, well, you pull on Trump, the more they're like, no, don't. Good morning. Top of this fine morning to you. Da, 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 da. And I hate to see you faded. I don't want to read. 
read any of this. Okay, let's see what Hulk Hogan is up to. I've seen it all now. All right, what happened? No, but the thing is, this whole place is fake. No, but in, no, like people, it's a setup. Like, what do you mean? Can't do any of shot as a setup. No, the whole thing is this, the fabric's fake. I wonder if there's, um, you know, like Hunger Games. Like, I know this place is what it is, and it's all mean, but there might be. Okay, they are, but it's not relevant. Actual beings who design our reality, the way we design Photoshop. Our actual reality is a program, in, uh, but it's true, and billions of beings, but it's not important. It's still karma-based. It's still just a back, it's the backstory to God's experience. God just needs an excuse to, you know, have backstories. It's what facilitates itself. And so you're facilitated multidimensionally for, through a billion stories, but you're not a story. A story has to have a beginning, a middle and an end, and God doesn't have a beginning, a middle and an end. It always was. Da, 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 da. Okay, so Hulk Hogan's boring, everything's boring. Let's just go to, go to Reddit quickly and see what the good news is. Mm -hmm. And I hate to see you faded. To have high, high hopes for a living. Shooting for the stars, though I didn't have a vision. Didn't have a way to live in. The near extinct crocodiles <laughs> bounce back in what scientists call a near. What? A real sight, real sight of hope. Great. UK's first European country to approve. Lab grown meat. Starting with pet food. How do you feel about lab grown meat? Dun -dun -dun. Song of mm -hmm. What's up, Olivia? Okay, how to control epilepsy to the brain plot that might be the answer. Um my grandfather handcrafted a clock. I saw that was yesterday. <laughs> In Tunisia, poverty drops to a historic low. That's nice. Libyan president sashes his senator. <laughs> so the UK is going through a critical thing with rooftop um, solar. Basically, going through a revolution. People are getting the solars put up and then they're getting paid. So it's like they're not having to pay for electricity, but there's also a possibility of getting kickback, basically. Okay, now the stories are repeating themselves. Da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Dear Raspberry, thank you so much. Emilia. Mm -hmm. Hate to see you faded. Thank you so much for the rose. Mm -hmm. I, once you realize that digits are just a loser's game, the path to enlightenment becomes so much clearer. At the cost of every single thing you once held dear, yeah, you got this. Or just go back to your simple ways and pretend you don't see, didn't see this tweet. Brilliant. That's, that's Grimes. Right now, 26 minutes ago. <coughs> well done, Grimes. You're right. And I've actually been watching her tweets. She's been going, oh my man. Basically, she's been trying to get her answer just with the mind. And then she's like, am I crazy? Is it silly? Is it dumb? This? What is this? Like, she did the best version of trying to mentally translate the dichotomy of what we are. And then this is where she's like, no, it's actually, as long as you're thinking in terms of expansion, refinement, uh, beginning, middles, and ends, are basically zeros and mores and lesses. If you're thinking in relativities and not in absolutes, you, you're still playing the ego game, basically. 
brilliant. No, and I don't mean ego game like I'm trying to insult the ego. See, when we say your ego, we listen to the word ego from the ego's point of view and we're like, oh yeah, the ego. How do you think the soul sees the ego? It doesn't see the ego like the ego. It sees this ego like the soul. Yeah, medical reports. I would also like to see medical report at this point. Like, cause, cause Trump will and he will obviously. If it was a piece of perspex plastic, it was a piece of per plastic perspex for my intuition that flicked past his ear. So he went ah and he grabbed. It was like ah. It wasn't through the thing. The guy was way off. And then that's my thingy. And if Trump know, Trump will know. He'll be like, listen, I know it was a piece of thingy, but they all thought it was a gunshot. Then keep quiet. Don't say anything. Just keep, ride it now. That's why no, that's why it's like medical reports. And he's like, nah, it's cool. So eventually he's going to, the bandage will come off and there'll literally be a big giant hole there. Or as I'm thinking, it was a scratch. It was skin. It was scratched. It was a plastic that they need it. So, you know, ears bleed very easily. And at which point he's going to go, they're going to go, oh, so you did keep quiet and ride it for a bit. Which he's not thinking of. He's, he's more 70 chess, to be honest. But then again, my world is 7D to me. It can't be better than se more than 7D because it's my own light sound bouncing back in real time. And I've got, I'm timeless. So I can augment it in, I've got eternity to augment every nano moment. I could, I could swap a bullet with a piece of plastic if I wanted to make him look bad. Literally could do that. You could do that. You could change. You could undermine everything that's illusion me in this world. So that it becomes aware of itself. Well, actually, no, that's just so funny, actually. Because it would be, it would be cheating. It would be speeding up the process. It would be like, actually, instead of a person making their own map to heaven, you actually just draw them a map and give it to them. But again, if God's alone... This is my experiment. If I'm alone and it is what it is. What you hold true on earth, I will bind in heaven, is what God said. Last time I checked, heaven and earth were the same place. Jim Carrey once said, solitude is dangerous. No, he didn't say that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I get, I get, who else gets the serious no feeling from Vans? I get a serious no feeling. I'm definitely not saying it, but I'm not, also not, not saying it's not something off for me on his eyes. Yes. Definitely. Oh, it's called eyeliner. It's not, you can have eyeliner, there's nothing wrong with that. Not, that's not, that's not enough reason to dislike him. I'm smiling because if you actually watched me, I'm basically going, that's so stupid. Why is everything so dumb? You know, things aren't that dumb. You can actually make something of it if you really, really. <coughs> Why are things up so tight? Yeah, you know, we should. We can also bring things down. And I'm basically just jumping side, 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 side. Bringing my, my interfacing with stuff just to a balance the whole time. Continuously. Yeah, adept. Adept. Balanced karma. Not good or bad. And not perceiving things as good as perceiving everything as self. <coughs> mm. More unity, more ravens. That's what I'm talking about. That's the, uh, that's the bad. Uh, uh, look what I came home to. That's the, uh, that's the bad clothes system, eh? It's so cool. Basically, Kennedy and his and his ravens, and then whenever he goes away on trips and stuff, then the ravens will like sit there and like look at his wife. <laughs> you know, they've got like a sunroof or whatever, and then she'll be like, "Yes, I also miss him. He'll be home soon." I can't wait for America to get a Disney princess for a president. Rumors are circulating that Trump's supporter, Thomas Matthew Crooks, was acting on behalf of the Israeli government. After three encrypted overseas accounts, 
were just discovered by the FBI on his computer. <laughs> See, now that does nobody any favors. It's like, what? He thingy, thingy, no ways. And then you go and you do research, it's like, oh man, more bullshit. And then you hear, thingy was thingy, but he really was a this. And then it's a story that would spin in the other direction, so the other team feels like they're getting validated. And then you're like, oh, cool, guys, cheer And then it's a bunch of bullshit with degrees of truth. It's like, he was in a BlackRock video. Nope, that wasn't him. But Joe Rogan repeats it. So if you remember my experience, I'm like, I know that's not true. Now you Joe Rogan's repeating it means like how many more people are still going to believe it? Not just believe it, but start to believe it because they're gonna watch Joe Rogan forever. So this world is really the knowers and the know nots. And it's there's infinite knowing and knowing nots to know and know not. Go fight the ignorance. And the individual must want truth above all else. Otherwise, they're going to uh, cogn cognitively disassociate when things don't look like it's going their way psychologically. And then block out information, which means they won't be holistic in their understanding of it all. And it's all self, ultimately. Man. Okay, and then the Schumann Resonance. is doing crazy stuff at the moment. Da, Dominique, free Palestine, let's go! Any second now. Sup, Mr. Buddy? Okay, Shun Residence, what's this? The man's a comedian. You can't deny you can't deny it, who? It's Trump. But without that chart, the last time I put up that chart, I never really got to look at it. But without that chart. I would not be here today. Never got to look at it. So, so, it's a, so it's a chart that he was he, at this thing he pointed to the chart or whatever. That was him turning. No, this didn't happen. I can't, no, I can't watch it anymore. I want to take like a month off and, what, would you do that? I wonder, like, uh, one whole month, disconnect from the world. I don't want to watch the news. I don't want to know any of the thing. I just, for one month, I don't care. Would you do that? Would you like, you know, go to sleep for a month and wake up and be like, what's happening? Uh, imagine that first day. No, Crystal, Crystal, I can't, because now I just watched the video. You know, when you want this and you don't want this, and then you want, don't, don't want this, and you don't want to want this. But then the more you don't and do one, then the more they, the more the place feeds you more of that. So now here's Biden trying, almost kissing another girl. Like where he literally leans in for a kiss. And then his wife's like, hey, that's not her. That's not me. And he's like, whoa. But the thing is, he doesn't just go, okay, cool. He's like, whoa, okay, lady. Sorry, I didn't mean to kiss you there. And it's like, the reason why it's so effective, why it's so woo, is that I, I'm psychic and I can feel all Biden supporters. And how they're like, you know that feeling of cringe? Like bad cringe where you're where your thing's losing it slowly and you're like I really want it to win so badly and it's getting worse. I can feel them cr like shriveling up inside whenever Biden does more and more of this. And it's not a, it's not from an ego like oh he's messing up and they win and they lose. It's like I'm vicariously experiencing what the ex the world experiences when I watch what the world's producing. No, man. No, man. He's just rocking. See, I hate this wolf. <laughs> I hate it. I love it. It's just the way it'll spin. It's bullshit. Um, he was just rocking. He didn't try to kiss her. But they got a whole thing now. It's viraling. This is like, this is times worse than the Sunday scaries. Oh, I hate it. Is that what it feels like there? does feel like that because you actually think it makes a difference i mean i mean it does but it doesn't really but it does but it doesn't every because everybody feels like it makes a difference it, you feel, everybody feels like it makes a difference hence the sun is scary 
I can feel what you're talking about. Shame. Yeah, I underestimate that. Stuff isn't stuff. You know, if I go, you know, uh, America has nice land and it's meaning it's got nice space and it's got lots of states and it's got lots of, you know, schools are of a high stand, like the, the buildings are like university buildings. It doesn't change the energy. The energy is a combination of all variables. You guys are under a lot of pressure, psychological pressure. You guys are in a lot of psychological pressure. One hopes that this is how the world, you know, I don't know, becomes more caring and loving and stuff. That we realize that all this difference, <coughs> it's all the same. Some, some countries might look like they're better off and have this and have this up and down and this variable, but it's, it's still just people who basically need and want the same thing. Sure, it's a very good description, Crystal. Tel Aviv. So, okay, so Tel Aviv was just bombed. That's why Tel Aviv was thinking. So the bottom line is Israel is wiping out Palestine because it wants the land. Oh, well, I'm so stupid. Tel Aviv is actually Israel. Oh, heavy. It's hectic. Okay, cool. So that's what I'm saying. That's, what, that's also why part of me wants to disconnect. And I know that we, the, the, the planet needs a bit of a... Uh, It needs peace, it needs silence, it needs, it needs for thingy. It's going to go through a bit of a thing right now. The, I don't, see, I don't entertain the forces of evil, but that is, if that exists, it's pushing, it's going to do a push right now. And it's just, it's just natural, because we've achieved something recently. So for every energy, there's a counter energy. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, that's a bit of weird, eh? Yeah, Trump supporters wearing bandages on their ears in support. You know, half, half of me is like, stupid. And the other half of me is like, God, that's God teasing me. And I've got my own, you know, things that I think are, that I think are special, sentimental, that I use, da, 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 da. And I'm as dumb. I'm as Van Gogh. You know, I'm as half the story as everyone else. I can see it simultaneously. I can see the silly, stupid shit in Maya, and I can see God going, hey, that's how you look. You look like what you're looking at. You're looking at you in everything that there is. You're looking at you. Is it cool or not? It's fucking perfect, God. Shit. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> if that's the situation. They are wearing uh, AR pins as well, which is so funny because, you know, the thing with... You know, Christians wearing crosses around their necks. It's like, that's why Jesus hasn't come back yet. He's like, Dad, they're wearing crosses around their necks. They're fucking with me. I'm not going back, ever. And it's like, it's like, saying, it's like going up to Jackie Onassis with a rifle pendant on. Just keeping the memory alive, Jackie. Just keeping the memory alive. Back and to the left. Back and to the left. You see, the gunman was over. No, 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 he was over there in the book depository. What do you mean? <laughs> It couldn't have happened. That's over. That's wait. No, he shot in an echo, and then it went around all the way around the book, the, the plaza, and then three witnesses saw leaves. 
<clears throat> basically. It's quite funny. It's like full circle, basically. The Bill Hicks comedy about it's an AR-15. Because, yeah, the Republicans are gun people. Just double down on it. So you go, are you against guns? No, no, more guns. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love it. It's all ridiculous. It's all, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. And it's great. It's good. It's all ridiculous and it's great. It's entertaining, entertaining, and it's great. It's ridiculous and it's fun and it's more and put on some more big cheese. I love it. I love it. I actually love it. If you actually embrace it and have a good time. Like I'd go to I'd go to Democrat rallies and I'd go to Republican rallies. Just the, the culture, the idea now of the culture of America. Love it, love it. Go support the Bears and the Cubs. And then I go to, you know, like pretend you're a Russian and you've learned America from another place or you're another country. Pretend just for a second. Pretend you're not American. Pretend you're looking at it from somewhere else. And you're like, I'm going to go to New York City. Yeah. You know, go see Hoover Dam. You've got big dams. Much bigger than in my country, that kind of thing, or, you know, food, and your food's bigger, and your burgers are bigger, and you got, apparently you've got a giant ball of yarn somewhere, I've seen it in a movie. This is the nature of my heart. There's more laughter being generated, that's for sure. Remember, laughter, a way of looking at it, laughter is stress release, as well, now we're looking at it. So, it, it, you know, it gives, you know, pre pre presents you with a lot of things to laugh at and, you know, basically transmute. But it is true as well, you know, idiocracy? <laughs> we are living in idiocracy right now. You got Hulk Hogan like ripping off his shirt with a Trump thing under it and like the people that are supporting the president. It is idiocracy. It's a, it's yeah, because I mean Trump already is like and not you know, like the idea of a popular person or entertainment popular person getting in as president. I always thought it would be Arnold Schwarzenegger. I remember in the late eighties they're like, he's so popular if he ran for president, he'd become president. And then yes, but he can't because he's not an American citizen. It was always that conversation. So, Trump doing it, and then now celebrities backing him. And now you just do is keep educating celebrities enough so that they can talk politics. And again, like, it doesn't matter because in dumb, the dumbest people are still as smart as God. And the smart people are as dumb as God, meaning it all balances. And it's, it is, there's 22 types of intelligence that... If they're not in balance with each other, it's not an intelligence. None of them are. They all get nullified because they're not in balance with each other. So, cynicalness about the application of intelligence is why dumb people exist. And if the, the, the moment you call them dumb, you're the dumb one. The moment you call someone smart, you're the smart one. The moment you see something as something, you're that thing. So you should use these things because you can transmute these things. If you instead of calling someone dumb, they their outlook, you identify with it because you've got a similar superstructure outlook. Then that's pure intelligence. <laughs> martyr dumb, <laughs> martyr dumb, dumb, martyr dumb, martyr dumb. Is there a truck owners use their truck for towing one time a year or less? Didn't have a damn though, I always had a vision. Hello, Peter. Sorry, this is a really Boring-ish, live-ish, I apologize-ish. To who? I don't know. <laughs> I 
I love you, God. I love you too. <laughs> Ever since I reconnected with divine intelligence, you're my best friend. You're my best friend. Da -na 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 -na. Isn't it cool how everybody is me echoed and expanded and refined? If I choose to see it, yes. Who can guess what this is used for? It's films, for quantum keeping film, I don't know, I think. As a cicada flew headfirst into a barbed wire fence and impaled itself. <gasps> Shame, man. It's a picture of a cicada that flew, that flew headfirst into a barbed wire fence and impaled itself. Let's play a game, a type back game. Yeah, you guys play a game. I'd have to type, do I? One of the best paint patches ever. Hmm. Okay, so t Tel Aviv is what this thing is. No, you just give out the clue cues. I don't know what the game is. I don't know what that is. It's like, what keys for what? <laughs> Massive bomb exploded in Tel Aviv right outside my apartment. Still no idea what's happening. One, two, three type of color. Anything like one, two, three type of color. Totally don't grasp the idea or the concept. He's just like he powers. I can't. I don't know what's going on. Um, no, thank you. I don't know. What to, I'd actually done like literally lost. Like I would do what for what? So I would think of something, a color or something, and then no, I don't understand it. I don't even like it because I'm so confused. I'm like, no, I don't want to do it. <laughs> I, is everyone like that? Don't like something. We don't understand something. You're like, I don't know what it is. Don't want to do it. I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm probably going to end this live shortly. No, I think there's two, I think two subs, two other subscribers. Sup, Eli. Okay, so that's happening. Who's rambling in politics? Two guesses. Who would be rambling? Oh, Kamala. For sure, Kamala's much better than Joe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, the significance of the passage of time. Yeah. So when you think about it, what can be great significance without the what, of time what has come? In terms of what we need to do to lay these wires, what we need to do to create these jobs, and there is such great significance to the passage of time when we think about a day in the life of our children. And um, this play, you can't. We got to tease the reality now. We got to. Take the piss out of it. We can't take this place seriously. We can't. We can't, man. We can't. The greatest country on the planet. That's number two. That's number two. That's number two charge. She's in charge. Number two. Big. Two is the second most powerful person on the planet. And Biden's number one. God hijacked this planet. I hijacked this planet and I put clowns in charge so we can all laugh at ourselves. No, I can't. Since you got here, reality's been mimicking you. <laughs> I know, and I've nerfed the shit out of myself. I hope he doesn't copy me. It might end up like the Twilight Zone. A weird combination of the Twilight Zone and... Our reality's turning into like a, co but the, a comedy Twilight Zone. And then you educate everyone and enlighten them so they realise it's all them. And they're forced to watch themselves on loop. Yeah, that's it, basically. That's, that's humanity right now, Earth. Real-time feedback. It should be fun, right? It's Everything is fleeting. Every, what will Mahan Trump do? Yeah, what is she doing? I love this place. Now there's a video of Trump. 
and there's some lady behind her and she's like grabbing her her root chakra basically behind him it looks really bad <laughs> man it's entertaining the world's on fire how, my world's on fire how about yours that's the way I like it and I never get bored it's really bad she's really like grabbing it like it's really bad it looks really terrible yeah, she got like I don't know some tropical disease world's on fire how about your spiritually it's the idea that it's always renewing itself based on your reflection on your relationship that's the way i like it and i never get bored remember this world is ultimately for our enlightenment entertainment slash entertainment is the one side of the linear but enlightenment is the result you can't be here and not enlighten Also, you can also mission if you if you say you want to go, then I'll also log off probably. Man, also in a weird, chill like this is like you know where you're feeling I'm feeling useless like I'm not actually doing it. this isn't alive and I'm not entertaining and I shouldn't be looking at the thing the whole time but I also don't care. That's interesting, eh? What what ancestry? What Blackrock ancestry? Tell me. You you always got your finger on the zeitgeist. Not to connect it to the dude looking like he's in a Black Rock video. The shooter. Because that, that, that wasn't the shooter. What Black Rock ancestry? What is this? Oh no. 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 Now there's a video of the water tank. Behind the roof, there's a dot. There was a person on it. Second shooter, and that I find if I went to the shop yesterday, I was walking back about from this guy that I know, and that's what he wanted to talk about, the second shooter, on the, on the grassy knoll, on the water tank. You see, I'm. I'd rather just zoom out and be like, the reality is a hologram. How does how is it built? So in other words, the details are irrelevant from 5D and above. It's all crazy, yeah. They bought... Oh, did they really? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. It's fine. Blackrock has to use atoms, right? Right? Atom, little atoms. Atoms has to use reality. Has to use the fabric of, of reality to exist. Wonder what owns that. It's that thing that I'm teaching us about all the time that owns reality. You own reality, you own black rock, you own the atoms, you own everything. That one electron that creates everything is visiting itself. It's yours. It's you. This is you. It's you, you using it to tell me you, 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 telling you what you're telling yourself right now. So you go, Blackrock owns it. And you go, Blackrock owns it. And it's like, whatever you hold true, I hold true. Who owns Blackrock? Who inherited the earth? And now any, anyone who criticizes what I just said, I can explain it slowly and better. And slower and better and slower and better and slower and better. That's what they need. Do you see? See, Crystal? So I'm not... See, normally I'd now go and go... Uh, 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 and then agree with you. Because you're just pointing out... Something that isn't going to take place. Because you're pointing it out. And normally I'd go... Uh, 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 and then I'd, then I'd just... I'd, go, I'd basically walk up and down the stairs with you. And then I'd at the end of our conversation. So I'm just going to jump to that point. Which is... You know, they can own it. It doesn't matter. You own the thing that they own, so it, does, it ultimately doesn't matter. You ultimately own belief. And then you know that belief creates what it actually is. Well, there's no you. You're, you're not the you that has DNA. 
you know, the spirit inside the thing that manifested the, the crystallized DNA, super manifest a realm to manifest. Da, 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 da. It's like they, if I got my own details, BlackRock got my details, the level where I'm me, I'm also BlackRock. The level above that, there is no BlackRock or me. My DNA details will be my karma, which will be their karma. What, what they make of it, they make of it themselves. Everything. Forever. Amen. I'm untouchable. Touch me, touch eternity. I own it, basically. Like, if, if the whole concept of belief, if belief is what is true, how smart must you be to believe it's all you and your belief has final say? Because your first cause. And I say that, don't think of me saying that. You're, you're experiencing it, so technically it's your projection. But, temporary moments of forgetting and of yeah, forgetting will add to the never forgetting. Like, if I almost slip off a rock, Climbing, I'm gonna never. I'm gonna make sure I'm stuck on that rock. You know, you know the times you almost forget, and then you with the the feeling of when I allow my echo karma to have its way with me, it will tell me define dumb and dumber. My my real my Maya defines me instead of me defining Maya. The saying is the moments of slipping with that, are the difference in the feeling is going to be more clear to me when I am first cause and when I'm listening to second cause tell me what I am or when the effect tries to tell me what I am. It's dumb and dumb at that point. And then, and then it's so terrible, like as well, this world, man, a crystal, Corey, the, the, the firefighter that got shot, his picture with the fish, if you put it into AI, into a thing, say, is this AI or not? It's, it's 83 or 89% chance it was AI generated, which I'm saying it, no, I'm saying it was, I'm just saying it doesn't help for AI thing to say, oh, it looks like it was generated AI, when maybe it wasn't. So now, now, you know, you got a whole bunch of humans, you know, semi hairless monkeys running around the planet, and they believe, <laughs> they hear a rumor there's monkeys on, there's um, bananas on another tree, and they make a noise, and nobody listens to anybody, and they go to that other tree. It's the same with what's his name. He's like, no, it's AI, so there is, the whole thing is a setup. The whole thing. AI generated a picture of a fisherman, no, no, no. Trump went down, squeezed tomato sauce on his ear. There's people now that hold that as fact. And anyone who says otherwise, you guys are so stupid. You fell for it. Do you not see him put this? Now, how many versions of that do you have? No, no. He did get shot, but it wasn't an inside job. And it was an inside job, but it wasn't this, but it was this, but it wasn't that. It wasn't an AR-15. It was a da-da-da-da. It was a thing, but it wasn't a thing, but it was, 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 it doesn't, wasn't. Spam, 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 spam. Oh, I love spam. I love baked beans, eggs, spam, and... And it, it wasn't a second shooter, but it was spam, but they were inside job, but it wasn't Israel's involvement. Spam, 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 spam. And now the whole planet spammed with a thousand variations and every human loves to be right. You guys are so clever, but what you're not seeing, now how many humans are doing that? Literally probably 10 billion right, 10 million right now. Yeah, but you guys, you're forgetting one thing, the aliens. What? And all it is, is a bunch of conglomerated metaphor about a polarized picture of, of previous perception through a linear experience. In other words, your relationship with yourself. Across the board, planet three. Boom, boom. Like, I feel like there's um, layers to the hive mind. And like, if you first you, you switch on layer one of the hive mind, it goes boom, boom, boom. And then it's on and it's stable. And it has moments of like flickering. And then you go, okay, cool. Just switch on level two of the hive mind. We're not talking about the roots. The fourth root now finishing establishing itself. 
the fourth layer of the hive mind is now online. So more people are going to lend their ability to data mine quantum reality. That's what it comes down to. We're data mining quantum reality and we're data mining for divine nature. I wonder how XRP is doing. <laughs> Da, 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 no, 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 Okay, it's chill. It's chill. And then the dollar rand. I feel there's something much larger than all of us that's about to sweep it. Wait, I feel that there's something so much larger than all of us that is about to sweep it all. The goal was to confuse people. Yes. It was. The goal was to confuse people. You want confused people. Remember not, you see, there's confused people and then there's the people who think that they, there's people trying to confuse people. You, you get what I'm saying? So, overconfident people who think they're in charge and think they know what's going on and think they're controlling it, those beings we want to we're confused on purpose. That was, and start all the way back with COVID and lockdown and shit and beings thinking they're in charge and da da da. Um, but it's the people who are confused it didn't confuse them more. It actually illustrated to them. It put, it's, it's trying to get every human on the same, the same egotistical level where we can all agree to take what's true from an experience, not where I traditionally am on that topic. Because everyone who traditionally takes sides is being... I mean, look at the way... If you go back to 2016, Democrats and Republicans, they almost shifted philosophy. There was like... Wait, is there a Mandela effect? I thought the Democrats were like this and the Republicans, you know, there was almost like a shift because the whole thing is fractal rotating with itself because nothing is a thing. There is no pure capitalism or communism. There is no this or that. And then you're going to get the group going, that's what they want you to think. That's the Zionists. They want you to think there's no difference. I mean, now that's the same as saying the greatest lie the devil ever said was that the devil doesn't exist. That's the, you know how psychologically fucking sinister that is? Because if the devil doesn't exist and you say that, now you're like, oh fuck, does it exist or not? If it didn't, okay, either it does or doesn't, and now there's this premise of, it said it doesn't. So in the world where it does and it said it doesn't, you're like, no, I know it does. But if it do actually doesn't, and I know that's the way it ultimately is, your, your purity is being tested. A pure being will listen to the same statement and see through it as all itself. A being who still has stuff to work with will accuse. And that accusation, God, God, I'll play along. You can accuse me. I don't need to be validated right now. Crystal, does it sound familiar? It's the, the, the grace and the divine patience to play along until the being realizes. Maybe truth means nothing because I'm not real. No, that's what I'm saying is the truth will make you nothing. Remember, then you're, you're the something, nothing. Not, you're, you're in the something, but the something is illusionary. It's the nothing. The something is the nothing. The nothing is the something. And truth will help you transverse from one realm to another. And so the thing that's going to uh, neutralize com everything, basically, the big thing that's coming is every being realizing that. So, because what will happen is if every being realizes that, nobody's participating anymore. Fully committed participating, which will free up more energy and give everyone else clar cl more clarity. It's the collective tug of war that's keeping everyone distorted and confused. Thank you. Um, see, I can't even hear all of this stuff. 
Do you know what I mean? Like, you said the thing there, you said a bunch of stuff, but you also didn't. You also captured the sentiment of everything and everyone so nicely. I don't want to answer that because I'm also there with you. I'm also there with you. There's a part of you that's also there. It also looks to you and goes, how do you... Because I, I can see your unique version of me, and I can see everyone's unique version of me. And if I'm not giving answers, I'm actually admiring everybody else's version of my version. Everyone else's version of my strength. Or whatever it is. That's stupid ways of saying it. But basically, everybody's version of my version has a subtle greaterness to it a subtle strengthener there's some aspect of you that's stronger or more polished or whatever it doesn't matter how i see it point is you have the ability crystal to capture a person's essence and mirror it better this is what i'm doing I don't want to say to you now. It's like you... Like you created a pattern out of my linear. Or you created a linear out of my pattern. It's the same. I can't actually say it. You and I literally just... And then eventually there's, there's a little place in between all the, all the chaos, the chaotic back and forth. There's a little perfect white circle there. With all this other chaos around it. It's like talking to God. And you can expand and 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 contract the dot, and the dot can. Where'd he go? It's got to do with uh, identification, ha habitual identification, the degree to which you identify with whatever you identify with, you are. So you can see, eventually he's going to be like, okay, so if I downgrade, down, downgrade my de degree of identifying with literal physicality and start agreeing, uh, identifying with the, the energetic nature of it all, I'll become the energetic nature of it all. I always was. I was just choosing to place my awareness on the literalness of it all. Hence, I got into the habit of over-identifying. Like it's like thinking I am my hand. It's like I am, but I'm also more. Da, na, 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 na. So that is what each person, in a way, also, not, not to keep taking your metaphor and overriding it with, you know, universal metaphor, but the fact that the desert of the real, if you were, if you were alone, would you be okay? If it was all you, that is your vision quest, to remove things until there's nothing left but you. Alone with me. Like a bit exactly. In the in the in the deserts of the real. Welcome to the desert of the real. Or the sands of time. Which we used to sink in. We used to like literally drown in the sands of time. Quick the quick sands of time. Because we weren't because we weren't aware that we were on the spot creating the time space pocket universe that we were experiencing. So we gave it a you know, it's history and it's all its details we identified with. And those were abstractly generated. It's literally abstractly generated based on your relationship with yourself. But you thought they were an actual definer of yourself. And I say this abstractly to the human collective. If I, after 45 years of assessing the place, that's, it's, that's my conclusion. But I also allowed it to teach me that so that it gets credit for what it taught me which means it's not grounded here on the planet permanently hence this place is homeschooling you basically if you, if you incarnate on earth you're going to by default god realize yeah as long as i'm here and i'm never leaving i'm never leaving <laughs> not until i get a selfie with every body of it so there ever was 
I don't feel ready to be around strangers right now. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Deep, eh? Deep, eh? Like some people like who are now going, I want to spend time with myself. I want to know who I am. I don't know who I am. And therefore, I have these people that I've known my whole life. I don't know who they are. You know, I don't want to be around strangers. I want to be around myself. I want to know myself so that I know what I'm actually around. That could be like a third group of people. People who know it's all self, the ones who never knew and are discovering it, and then the ones who are like, I don't know myself well enough to know who I know. I know people, but I don't know how well I know them because I don't know myself. You know, they're literally in the middle place. Deep, yo, Crystal! You just went and did like a long counseling session with me because you're translating what I'm actually been saying this whole time. And what I'm basically saying is I want more of me in this world, which is the, actually the me that I'm actually, the, 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 you've passed fourth initiation. You're identifying more with the divine qualities. And you're basically saying, I want more divine qualities in my world. <laughs> Truth, elation, magic, wonder, sense of awe. You, you know what the good feelings are. And that all comes from knowing yourself as God, not identifying with Maya. Because if you don't identify with God, you're going to become content. If you identify with Maya, it's never enough. Yeah, I know, that's me that landed here. It's not me even now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. I think the weather's like, I feel like going, having breakfast somewhere nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Although, you half in my mind now, because I was thinking about there's a waffle place that actually has crepes as well. Crepes are basically just bigger pancakes, right? And were you picturing blueberries? And like only one blueberry is actually still on top, the rest have fallen off and are sitting on the side. Oh, crepes are thinner pancakes, I didn't know that. So I'm thinking of like flapjacks. Were you thinking strawberries? Yum. I wonder if my wife's allowed to take a break. All the berries. <laughs> strawberries, blueberries. Dingleberries? No, gross, dude. I had to say dingle. Stop, don't say it again. Seriously, though, if a movie is incredibly visually beautiful, can I still stan? What if gives me mad style inspo? Is that wrong? Grimes, she's just having a say again. da na 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 Oh, as in, are you going to hurt to what I said about the... I'm not going to expand on that topic. <laughs> it was a dingleberry comment. I'm not expanding on it. Did you see the every post I made? No, I'll go there right now. I do skim on Facebook, eh? I, like, go in, do a few things, da, 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 and then I'm out. Like, I don't... I, doesn't, I don't fully... Facebook, for some reason, doesn't fully impress on me. Like, someone can message me, and I just won't answer the person. Like, for me, Facebook's like a weird anomaly sometimes that you did that way. Um. I'm in it now, trying to find it. Is it you just post post or did you post, um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bruce was right. My friend Bruce is like, the picture of the people with the bandages in the ears. It's like, stop the world, I want to get off. It, uh, I prompted what you say sometimes to get images. No way. Did you put it on um, ADEPS or? I'll see now. This is it. The piece that you get, no, 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 I'm not going to read that now. Mm. 
That's so cool, Crystal. Did you share the Bob Kennedy, I mean, Robert Kennedy and thingy thingy? No way. It's 108 impersonal dragons that you need to close out. Did you hear me say that? The day before or yesterday about the 108 things that we do on average. There's 108 patterns, set patterns that we do. That's great, by the way. Wow. This is so rad. I'm so sharing this. Humans do to describe itself energetically backwards. I had impressions, impersonal, imper, impersonal patterns that humans do to describe itself. You are amazing, Crystal. Shit. Like, in that little post, you sum up everything for the last five years. that I, I mean, obviously my whole life, but like, you just put... In one post, five years, because that's what I'm actually doing. If you look at my facial, uh, there's, there's 108 archetypes. And it is, and the way to say it, as an energetically backwards, a, cymatic, a psychological, cymatic inversion of yourself. That's what the world is. Wow, you good. You good. It's like, no, you good. No, yeah, you good. <laughs> that thing. Because it's like, wait, what part of, where do I begin and you end? And where does your divine intelligence, it's the same. It's the same cusp moment. Humans are going to get there. We're going to bring, really, we're all going to be brought into focus with each other. The way I'm perceiving you and you're perceiving me right now, all humans are going to see it that way with each other. It's going to be like, you see a human, you just smile. Like, <laughs> like I don't know, but you're going you're gonna to bring me some joy because you're going to, you know, you're going to flower me more. Your, your gnosis and my gnosis are going to complement each other just by existing. Yeah, 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 because your uncle's, yeah. So as you, as I read that, then like your uncle's energy very clearly, I can show you your uncle's incarnations, like this, a trajectory of a curvature, yours and mine, where well, if you go back, six -ish thousand incarnations, we overlap and share, all three of us share an incarnation. It gets like that eventually. It's very reptilian. The soul, the soul's journeys, if you map it, looks like a reptile, it, meaning the, the, the scales, like if a reptile has lines that then cross over to make like scale lines, the two lines will represent where a divergence in incarnations take place. So, uh, so an Alfred de Conan will literally look like all of its incarnations, like the way you read palms. And it will know where it connects to other aspects on a soul level, on a genetic level, and then on a mental level. So he was a wild one, yeah. He's a real wild one. He's a wild one. He was, and he, he was the world's interpretation from his point of view. And he says, you ain't seen nothing yet. Don't roll. No, baby, 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 you ain't seen nothing yet. You run around. And he also says that the, the, the drummer of Def Leppard only has one arm. I don't know if, he's, if that's ever a thing. If he ever said that, or if he liked Def Leppard or whatever. Those are two, the last two comments are his. Mm. Uh, this is so cool, by the way. Cymatic thing. And it's connected to the, the hundred and eight, the hundred and eight cymatic layers that that then echo on each other and then and then basically fractal back down to a base seven, which is your seven colours and seven notes. It's where the seven colours and seven sounds meet and then basically reverse their journey and become the 108 fractals or 108 etherical layers of cymatics and there's in that the if you take nine away from 108 you've got a you've got 99 so it's actually reference 108 actually references then a 999 inside itself so your right and left brain are the 99 
And then the nine is my vertical axis, is my ninth dimensional Christ consciousness. That's the main significance of the 108. And you know it's the 108 on a ch chanting beads, on a, on, a, on a rosary, 108 moons away from earth, 108 earths away from the moon, 108 suns away from the sun. What is it? Exactly. The whole place is the whole place. That's what I mean by hologram. Everything is you at another level. Another energetic level, basically. As there we go, exactly, exactly. And then others as well. You'll find if you look into other numbers that are special, like 12 is in special, there's no numbers, you know, archetypal numbers that, that, uh, uh, like, you know, RAM goes up in certain se se sequences, like the, you know, 8, 8, 16, 8, 16 32, 64, 128, you know, da, 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 or that kind of thing. That, there'll be, there'll be patterns of like 9, 9 to the 9th will be potentially 144,000. You'll start finding that happens eventually. The 108 um, Fibonacci uh, prime numbers, they eventually, like, the ninth prime number and the ninth Fibonacci will overlap. Something like that will overlap. I don't know what they all are. I haven't memorized them. But if you go into a thing called mathematics, you'll see all of that. So you'll see that the sixth dimensional relationship the universe has with itself is impersonal. It's not personalities. Now, Christianity is like, you can, have, you can have a relationship with God. And like, you can, but don't have it as a second person embody that being become that being otherwise it's the it's 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 you want to depersonalize but remember the opposite of anything true is also true so some people might be over energetic and they may need to get more personal so they actually care about other beings some beings might be overly being therefore a walking contradiction in a world of contradictions at which point you want to see the parallels in all energy so you can transcend the contradiction. Balance and alignment. I Because if I taught in another way, I would actually be contradicting two-thirds of the peop of energy. It's better to teach energy than teach preference. Because preference usually comes from pre perceived <laughs> backstories that are illusionally made up. Julie! Good morning. Hi, Karen. Carolina. What's up, Carolina? I don't know why that name, the name with the Carolina, it's, it's, it's you get Caroline and Carolina, this happened yesterday. The name just somehow trips me up slightly. Strangest thing. Na, 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 na. Hey there, baby. I could use just a little help. Thank you so much for the likes. Hey, how funny was that lady? The the one security lady. <laughs> the one that tried to like holster her gun. <laughs> she was so fun. I liked her. She's like, tried to holster her gun. She, she misses. She's like, Beautiful. <laughs> Man. A lot of it is just an, a, a, an Andromedan spaceship and our world is Photoshop, basically. And they have to, every day, they, we, when we sleep, we wake up to the memories that they've edited. And then it's like, we, there's a whole team of guys that are like, we thought you'd enjoy that. We threw her in on purpose. Did you like the part where she missed the holster? Oh, we knew you'd love that. And we did this part because we knew the and we knew that some people love so we put the guy on a slopey roof and then we got the her to say scary slopey roofs even though the other guys were on double the slopey roof meaning this is all a, a metaphysical comedy education realm and aliens are programming it to wake us up basically like, and that could be perfectly plausible and every day they add variables and then change variables mandela effects are them changing a variable so much that everybody goes, what the shit? But they do it on purpose because they want 
to educate and illuminate the planet. And each one of them that works on the way that the place is written is using the 108 program to write the variable, the anomalies that it needs to experience. And then it auto-generates the variable. See, I can see it at this level. I can actually, as God, I can ascend up and down the fifth dimensional time matrix and I can go to the level where, if that was true, what's generating the inspiration of those beings. All sentient inspir all sentience is known by me. Therefore, I understand how everything affects everything to make anything anything. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh my God, Crystal, I even thought of that. Oh my God, Crystal. Now, these are adults, right? We have, are accountable. So it's like, but the guy was, like, you don't even go to him and say, hey, you said slopey roof. The guy was hosing. Don't do it like that. Calmly go, hey, um, you know the slopey roof story and the guy was hosing it down? How was he able to hose it down safely? Say it like that, otherwise the person's going to turn it into how you said it. Humans like to go, hey, you shouldn't talk to me that way. And they make fucking side stories instead of actually going, I'm full of shit. You're right. So you, at this point, it's it's FBI, CIA, PSYOPs to wake the planet up. I love FBI. I love CIA. God bless you guys. At this point, it's cartoons. They, they, see, they might as well just take a, a crayon and write... You are all dreaming, you need to learn and your that your inner world is generating creation and oh god, I don't know how to say this. <laughs> you know? The ultimate psyops is so complex, the what the what they would they ultimately teaching, what the unity consciousness is teaching itself. It's fucking complex. Um, but noble and and they're doing a great job. I don't know, I get this feeling it's it's designed to make you go, fuck, I'm gonna go talk to the ducks, you know. Like, how upset can a human get? Meaning, meaning, yeah, okay, I, I need this to win, I need that to lose. This guy d had an experience. Yeah, but they don't care about the experience, the experience wasn't real, he's a, he's a nothing human, you know, and then it's like, and then, and then the more, how much information, and you go, then you go, yeah, but, the, but he, he thingied, and he came down, and he cheered, and, and the, the person who's against him, yeah, but he faked it, and da, 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 like, how upset can you make that person? Like, no, everybody's changing sides, and they're all on his side. Yeah, but those people are celebrities, are nothings. Meantime, the whole idea is that you're, you're, you're trying to get the person to go, are you trying to upset me? Like, that's what you want. You want the person to have a moment of cognition where they go, this shit can't be real. And a lot of humans are there now because of the, la the, the, the last three days. Things are just not adding up in a thousand ways. And it's... I don't even want to bring... It feels like people are going, let me bring you a sand castle. And they're picking up sand and it's all nothing by the time it gets to you. So it's like, oh, I don't even know anymore. I don't really want to... Like, it's making people let go. Where before we were like, I need to know whose side I'm on and who's right and who's wrong. And it's like, no, it's a joke. It's not, like, it's not a right and wrong. It's, you know. I think I'm going to get, no, I'm going to go to start a hobby. It feels like the Truman Show in a way. Like this at the end of the Truman Show when he gets out and then everyone's like, okay, so the Truman Show is finished. I guess I'll read a book. And they say, I'm going to go. And everyone get, gets up and does something different instead of just staring at the TV. So in a way, it's like, if the TV represented our fourth dimensional trapped selves psychologically, it's escaped. And it's escaping every day based on the fucking feedback we're getting. The ducks, the ducks, the, the us's that are enlightened, that don't, that know it's all a feedback and aren't identifying are technically having no echoes so are we not actually karmically contributing to the what earth's experiencing right now only the the karmic beings are actually making that's why it's all juxtapositioned and not actually making sense 
if reality is a simulation, it's possible to stall the simulation, to, to glitch the simulation. And I believe this, so this simulation needs X amount of believers. If you don't believe, the, the place doesn't have enough minds to overlap itself and confuse itself. Not enough good and bad karma, contradictory karma, basically. And so then the manifestations are contradictory in and of themselves. And then mm, that. I'm going to log off. Crystal, I love you so much for spending all this time with me. And keeping me up to, up to date on the zeitgeist. And a whole bunch of other stuff, obviously. Have an amazing day. Da, da, na, da, na, na. So, so much. Um, it's Friday now. So, so, yeah, so the next two days, so we're going to do that Zoom thing on Sunday. Hopefully you add it. It's going to be so cool to, to talk to each other, you know. Like a whole bunch of us get to see each other and, you know, move around. It's going to be very cool. It's going to be very cool. It's going to be a very um, auspicious thing as well. It's, it's going to be a huge energy I don't want to say boost, because it is boost, but it's also gra it's all the good qualities that we're all working on together. When we actually see each other and go, hey, you there, you see, thingy, you know. I will, on the day, on the, so tomorrow, Saturday, Saturday, I'll brief everybody on how we're going to do it on the actual day. And it'll be on the Sunday. And you're definitely, obviously, you know, the, if, if, if there's only going to be, like, say, eight or 12 people or whatever, obviously the people that are here, you're one of the core characters if it's always here. So you'll definitely be in it. Because a lot of people actually in, inboxing me on TikTok and from listening yesterday. So it'll be your Saturday, correct? It'll be your Saturday. Um, so yes, a lot of people are keen, but we won't be able to host as many people that want to be in it. But you've definitely got a spot, obviously. You know, yourselves, the enemies, you know. Okay, so it'll be earlier. It'll be two hours, 40 minutes ago. So it'll be your nine o'clock? Yeah, your nine o'clock. Your nine o'clock. Is that cool? It's better than your eight o'clock, eh? Or do you, is, it, is eight o'clock even better? Sean Wallace. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So we'll stick to the six. Okay, we'll stick to the eight. Your nine, my six. Cool. Cool, I'm going to log off now. Have an amazing rest of your day, Crystal. And thanks again for chilling today with me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do that. I'm definitely going to do that. Definitely going to go have a magical day. So, um, also, I don't know. I know this is odd, but I'm feeling a strange sense of contentment. Like I know I'm the... I just know things are great. Because we're not actually defined by this illusionary experience. Once everything's said and done, the ultimate truth in our back pocket is where this is all a dream and we're God. End of story. I love you, bye.